It is Friday morning, May 24th. This is Alan Zundel with Political Dharma. I've got a new update for you just since my last episode yesterday. Right after I made that episode, the Reform Party of Florida nominated Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as its presidential candidate. Now, the Reform Party of Florida does not have ballot access currently in the state. It did have it previously, but it lost it last year because it failed to perform a state uh, required audit, I suppose, of their finances. This report is for the from the Independent Political Report. Uh, they are currently applying to reinstate their ballot access. Presumably, they have to uh, pay for an audit and then pay maybe some late fees or something along that line. I'm wondering where the money comes from. Uh, maybe the the deal to nominate Kennedy had something to do with that. Just speculation on my part. No other reason to believe that. But they did nominate Kennedy, and they are reapplying for ballot status. If they get it, that means that Kennedy adds another state, this one with 40, no, 30 electoral votes, and those would bring his total to 225 with all the other states in which he's either gotten enough signatures or become the nominee of a small political party. And, of course, I think Tuesday, is that the 28th? Let me look quickly. Um, Tuesday 28th is the deadline for him to turn in, for his campaign to turn in the signatures in the state of New York, which would give them, if they succeed, and it sounds like they're getting enough signatures, give them another 28 electoral votes for a total of um, 253, sorry, <laughs> it's early in the morning here. Uh, so the total in uh, with the state of Florida would be 225 of potential electoral votes, and the total with New York, assuming that it gets it next week, would be 253, which gives him just 17 more electoral votes he needs to get. And that means that he'll definitely have enough by September for that debate to show that he's doing well in polls, unless he suddenly drops off a cliff in the polling and has enough electoral votes. So he should definitely be in the debates in September. I don't know how they're going to get around that to try to keep him out. But now in... Uh, the June debate, he can make a good case, I think, that he has enough potential electoral votes, at least to make the same argument that uh, CNN is making for the major party candidates, that they have enough delegates to be the presumed candidate of the major parties. Kennedy could say he has enough presumed signatures to be on the ballot in the states where he's gathered more than enough signatures. So we'll see how that all pans out. Right now, the Libertarian Party of um, the, the National Committee Convention is happening right now, and there is uh, already struggles between factions between uh, factions within that party, so we'll see how that goes. And finally, yesterday, the governor of Ohio called a special legislative session to try to find a fix for getting Joe Biden on their ballot in Ohio. Weird uh, situation there. I'm not sure if that's going to work or uh, because the legislature doesn't sound too open to the ideas so far. Anyway, that's it. Mostly the big news is that Kennedy has got nominated in Florida and they may well get ballot access sometime in the near future, bringing his total much closer to the 270 electoral votes he would need to say he could get a hypothetical majority in the Electoral College. That's it for now. I'll be with you again next week, probably on Tuesday, to report on the Libertarian Party Convention and whether Kennedy was successful in getting enough signatures in New York and what other developments happened over the weekend. Thanks for watching once again, and uh, I'll check in with you real soon.